Today, I want to talk to you about hearing God, about listening to Him. Why is it that if you talk to God, you're spiritual, but if you hear from God, you're crazy? Have you ever thought about that before? Yet the Bible says that God speaks to us, that He wants us to, to know Him. In fact, the Christian life is about a relationship with God. Jesus said in John 17, 3, that eternal life is knowing God. It's about having a relationship with him. And in all relationships, there's talking and there's listening. So I want to talk to you today about hearing God. Jesus said, and this is our verse today, John 10, 27, if you want to pause the video and turn there, or you could just listen closely. But Jesus said, my sheep know my voice, and they listen to me, and they follow me. Jesus' followers know his voice. Life is about knowing God. It's about a relationship with Jesus, and this is all accomplished through the power of the Holy Spirit. When you and I connect with God, that is a supernatural spiritual connection, and that happens in and through the power of the Holy Spirit in our, in our lives. I said this a few weeks ago, but think about this. When you gave your life to Jesus, you were adopted into, the Bible says, the family of of God. Well, what's the family of God? Well, the family of God has existed for all eternity. God is one God and yet three persons. The family of God is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. One God expressed in three persons. That's the family of God. It's that Trinitarian union. And yes, it's a bit of a a mystery, but when you were adopted into the family of God in and through your faith in Jesus, that was God's plan. Jesus accomplished it through his death, burial, and resurrection. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit seals it. To listen to God, we have to have our antenna up. It's like a cell phone. A cell phone doesn't work unless the cellular part of the phone is is turned on. It has to be connected to the network. Otherwise, it's just a cool computer in your hand. And by the way, most cell phones now are computer with a phone. Can we just all, yeah, it's not really a phone. It's a computer that happens to have a phone in it. But you get the illustration. The cell phone must be connected to the network to get reception. Well, the Holy Spirit is our spiritual connection in the family of of God. We have to be tuned in to Him. And there's five ways, five primary ways that the Holy Spirit speaks to us. The reality is He can speak to us however He wants. Uh, God spoke through all kinds of means and throughout the scriptures. Uh, He has spoken by writing a hand uh, not writing a hand, writing on the wall with his hand. A large hand shows up in the in the Old Testament and writes on the wall, and that's how he speaks. That writing on the wall. If you've ever heard, you know, can you read the handwriting on the wall? That's where that that's where that came from. Uh, God spoke in the Old Testament through a donkey on one particular occasion. Which, by the way, as a pastor, uh, just knowing the real me gives me great hope because if he can speak through a donkey, then maybe he can, yeah, he can he can use me too. But these are the five primary ways that the Holy Spirit speaks to us in in modern time. At the top of the list would be the Bible. I talked about this when we started the Holy Spirit conversations, that the Word and the Spirit go together. Uh, God's primary way of speaking to us is through the Scriptures, and then the Holy Spirit reveals the truth of those Scriptures to our hearts and, and minds through supernatural revelation. It transforms us. This is why you can read the same verse over and over again, and you're like, yeah, I read that before, I read that before, and then you read it another time, and all of a sudden, a light bulb comes on. That's the power of the Holy Spirit in combination with the Word. I'm going to give you four other ways that God speaks to us in in modern time, the primary ways. But listen, they all will fall in line principally with what the Scripture teaches. Now, the Bible's not going to tell you who to marry, which job to take. You know, it's not going to help you with specific decisions. The Bible's going to help you with God's rule for life, and then the Spirit wants to give us guidance in those specific decisions. But whatever the Spirit tells you to do, it will fall in accordance with what the Bible teaches. Jesus saved our souls, and the Holy Spirit wants to guide our steps. So the five ways. He speaks to us 
through his word, everything else will, will submit to principally what the word teaches. Uh, he will speak to us through authority. Authority uh, could be uh, the government. Uh, when you drive down the freeway and the speed limit is 55, God is speaking to you, right? And you're like, Chad, do you always listen to God on the freeway? Well, that's just between me and Jesus, all right? Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, authority could be uh, a pastor. Authority could be a teacher. Authority could be your, your spouse. And men, this would include your wife over you uh, because the Bible teaches in Ephesians 5 that we mutually submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. And then he starts to write about how that plays out. But God will speak to you through, through your spouse. The authorities in your, in your life people that you submit yourself to. If you've ever heard a sermon and it felt like God was speaking right to you and you thought to yourself, man, that pastor's so good. It wasn't a pastor, okay? It was, it was God speaking to you. So uh, God speaks through the Bible. He speaks through authority. God may speak through a still small voice. Maybe you've heard that language before. What does that mean? The Holy Spirit will whisper to you. He'll, he'll, he'll put something in your mind. He'll prompt you. Uh, throughout my years of following Jesus, when the Holy Spirit puts a, a name in my mind, I, I, I pray for them, and, and I've gotten to where I'll call and text them. And I think I, I mentioned that uh, the other day in one of the devotionals. So here's what we've got. Word. Uh, we've got authority. We've got still small voice. Uh, God will speak to you. The Holy Spirit will speak to you through godly others. Now, the important uh, adjective there is godly. These are people that you know follow Jesus, that love Jesus, uh, that will uh, care more about your future than they do your feelings. We're not talking about people who, you know, you find just because you want them to tell you what you want to hear. We're talking about godly others, people who are ahead of you. They're like, how can I tell they're godly? They'll be humble, all right? And they'll have a humble confidence when it comes to their relationship with God. Um, so we've got the Bible, we've got uh, authority, we've got still small voice, we've got godly others, and then the fifth way is the way that people use most of the time, and it's actually the least reliable, and that's circumstances. People call it open door, closed door. God closed the door, but he opened a window. Here's the problem with that. If a door closes, I can push it open, right? And if the door doesn't, uh, doesn't open uh, easily, then I'll go, oh, God's not in this, and yet just about everything God has called me to has been difficult. Sometimes we say it's a closed door and it's not that the door's closed, it's just it's hard and we don't wanna do it. So that's the least reliable, but God speaks through circumstances as well. But listen, all of the four will fall under the first and that's the word of God. The word and the spirit work together. But we can listen to God, we can hear from him by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the Spirit. Holy Spirit, give us wisdom and direction. Thank you that you do want to guide our steps. And as it says in Galatians, may we today keep in step with you. May we have our antennas up. May we be dialed into the network. May we focus and be filled by you. And in that, may you lead and guide us in our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow as we keep going on the journey talking about the Holy Spirit.